Hello and welcome back to the channel, Animated Alex here. Now today I want to look into the plot command. So when we're drawing we use plot to plot the position before we do the draw. But I'm just going to concentrate on plot today and I thought what can I do to demonstrate how we can use plot? So I thought why not make an etcher sketch? So 10 rem. We'll title it first. Etcher sketch. One, two, three, four. There we go. So 20. Now you can actually print inside the border. So line 22 by doing print symbol shift three will give you the hashtag. Then one semicolon symbol shift O. And then to get your tab, you need to push capital shift symbol shift to get your E and then push P. OK, and I'm going to go up 10 because that's about midway of the screen. Um, and I'm going to put etcher sketch. OK, etcher sketch, that's right. Yeah, and number five, just forgot. I'm going to put border three, ink black. We've already got paper white, so I'm not going to worry about that. And then 30. Let x equals 0, let y equals 0. So that's our variables in place. And then 40, let k strings, simple shift and 4 equal in keys. 50, if k strings equals um, we're going to go for O and if it's more than zero, whoops, X is more than zero, sorry, then let X equal X minus one. What I like to do is I just like to pull them down because it saves typing all that out again and just do the alterations for the next one. So. This will be if k strings equals p. Now we're going the other way, so it has to be less than 255. And you'll see what these numbers mean when I carry, um, go further on in the video, because I've done a demonstration video to show you. But for now, we'll just concentrate on the program. 70. Pull that down again. 70. So now we're going the other way, so we're going up. So that would be Q, and this will now become Y, and this will become 175, and obviously this needs to be changed to Y, Y, and we are going, yeah, yeah that becomes plus one, is that plus one? Yeah, that's right, I think. We'll soon find out if it's wrong, we'll come back. 80. Change that to A, and the Y will be more than zero, and that will be minus. So I'm going to pull that one down, change that to 90, put a C in there, delete all this. So if C, um, so if K strings equals C, then clear screen and then go to 10. And then line 100, this is where we put our plot command, ink black. We've already put ink black at five, but I'll put it anyway, x, y. So that's our coordinates for our plot command. And then line 110, go to, and we want to go to line 40. Enter, run. Why have we got pink? Ah, because red is two, not three. So let's change that to two. That's better. That's more actually sketchy looking. We've now got a little program which we can use like an etch a sketch 
to do some drawing. And if I push C, they clear the screen and we can do what we like. So, like I said, I did a little demonstration video to show you more on how the plot command works. And I'll take you to that now. So what I've done in this example is at the top of the screen, we've got X is our X is our axis for the horizontal. So with plot, it runs from zero to 255. And on the vertical axis on the Y, it's zero to 175. So at the moment, as you can see, plot X equals zero, Y equals zero. And we're right down there, look, right in the uh, left hand side of the screen where I've just drawn that square. So if I go right into the corner, it then um, resets all back to zeros. As soon as I move it, you can see the X and Y numbers are now increasing or decreasing as I move the little um, drawing pad around. So if I go all the way up to the top of the screen, Now we've got y equals 140, x, if I take that right over to there. So x equals 0, y equals 140. If I go into the program and I pull down list 25, that was 0 and 140. Well, I've gone 0, 1, 4, 2. So, see, so you've got the 0 and the 1, 4, 2, and then I've drawn 255 to 0. So, again, if I just go right up to the top, and you'll see, I didn't want to go all the way up to 142 so I've asked our um, plot movement to stop at 140 and two pixels up from that is our 142. So by changing the range on list, if I list it down, list 80 look, you can see I put y is less than 140 so it will stop. So you can fiddle around with them numbers and do what you like, you know, wherever you want um, your etch a sketch to, to finish. You might you might want to uh, improve it, put two circles down the bottom like the, uh, the original one was and higher the red up a bit, perhaps, you know, but that is just wanted to show you something simple you can make. Something quick just to put on the channel, just to show you basically how how you can um, use plot to draw. Now also, I mean, if you follow the channel, you'll know I did a in um, video where you can make the uh, movement go diagonally. So if you find that video, there's a little mission for you, a little task. Change all those in keys to the in, and then you'll be able to do diagonal movement. So I'll let you do that. Here's the video on my channel, find that and change everything from line 50 down to line 80 to the in command to give you diagonal movement. So there's a little task for you. And then you'll have uh, you'll have a better etch a sketch than I've got. So anyway, thank you for watching. That's all for this one. Very quick one this this week. And uh, I shall see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. <laughs>